So the other part of this test was to test the hair dryer. Uh, so this is a Remington. Uh, you know, nothing special about it. I've got my friend visitor again uh, inspecting everything. So <laughs> I can't make this up. <coughs> no. So this is a quick video on how many watts uh, the hair dryer will use, and we have a couple different settings. Uh, and what we're gonna do is test. I'm laughing because every time I go to film this, I have a, my dog came in, my cat came in, and uh, so maybe I'll be able to get through this video. So uh, the hair dryer itself has three settings, which looks to be um, I take that back two settings: a low and a high. It looks like three heat settings: uh, low, medium, and high. And it has this ice button here, which I guess just turns off the heat temporarily. So um, this actually may, uh, you know, we're going to run this on all the settings and see what the different wattages are. So sorry for the, the low lighting in here, but right now we're sitting at zero watts. So I'm going to first start out on low and low heat. And that is 143 watts. Now we're going to go to medium heat. That's a big difference. 468 watts. And then we're still on the low fan. And we're going to go on high heat. And that's 770 watts. I don't know how well you can see that. 772 watts. Now I'm going to push this ice button here. And I believe it's just the fan running at that point. So it's 143 watts. Actually, it does feel like a bit of mild air coming out. But anyway, uh, so it's 142 watts. So what we're going to do now is turn on high. And you might not be able to hear me, but I'm going to go through all heat settings. So 1,533 on high. 925 on medium. And 272 on low. And just with the ice button press. Interesting. It seems to be the same. Yeah, so on high low, it's the, the, the ice button doesn't do anything. Doesn't change the wattage. 272. 